I heard the other day about the difference between, well, not really a difference, but reincarnation and multiple, like, like your other realities. And I was wanting to do that for a while now myself. Actually, I've been wanting to do it for at least a week or so. And I do think they are, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, I think, but um, I think I'll explain it by example of what I've seen. One time when I was deep in meditation, all of a sudden I saw myself going into space, almost like the void. The void. And I was like, and there was like people, I could tell even though I didn't look that way, I was just looking straight forward. There were people at the side of me. It almost felt like we were in pods or something, but I don't know that we were. I don't think so. But so I had that feeling of it. And all of a sudden I saw like the sky roll scroll back, you know, like a scroll like Zzzz. and I saw some man. He came in the form of like white hair. And he was looking very intently at me, and I knew he meant breathe. So I went And when I started breathing, they started breathing. I don't know if they were breathing because I breathed first, or they were, <laughs> or they were breathing because you wanted them. But anyway, we all started breathing, and I felt like it was my some of my other lives going on simultaneously because everything always is, even when people say reincarnation and this is always what bugged me about reincarnation because I used to really really be into that you know and I had many experiences by the way that I thought everything's happening at once so how do you explain that if I'm here how can I be two or three thousand years or two or three hundred years back you know so it always did bother me but now I know he who is me in the higher form that also used to bug, bug me when I saw him and realized that was me because I felt that felt like me because I looked in the mirror and I go I don't look like that but what is on the outer <laughs> the physical each physical incarnation is going to look different anyway and then I had a another it was a dream but it was more than a dream I know many of you know what exactly what I'm talking about um, in the dream I was like going through uh, it was like through the years for me like I had a in the, the dream someone who died you know like my husband who died and I would still go on and I would and it was like he was always beside me and everything but the really dramatic part of the dream that was more than a dream was the fact that I saw him again the one that scrolled back the sky and I knew it was me and I was telling how the dream was gonna go I knew it was me, and I, you know, I knew I was over here being the, the part, the character in the dream. Yet I was also there, and I even in the dream I even said when I was gonna, when I was gonna die. In that dream, and it didn't bother me because I chose it, and it was just a matter of factly. It was just like if you imagine a, a story. Then I used to do that all the time. Like, not eat, not yourself, but just like pick characters in a story, like you're doing your own novel in your head. I used to do that all the time. I would have made millions of books if I had wrote down all of those. <laughs> it's like I was creating real people too, real characters. But it was like it was a novel, and in the novel, you if you decide someone dies, it's not 
you're not like, oh, you know, or, or scared because you're going to, it's just a matter of factly. So I was the one who chose it and I was the one that was playing in it. And it is just like we are. I mean, that is what we're doing. So I come to know him as my I am God presence. The higher part of me. Um, who I think does dwell in us and look more like, if you want to say a, a man, but really is, is all. It goes beyond um, a, a man or a woman or, it, you know. Um, and I have had many other <laughs> stories that happened to me. And I come to know, even though I was in those stories, like I was... Um, I saw them. They they weren't dreams. And I first saw them like I was an observer, and then I was them. And I'll say that in another video. I'll, I'll make another whole video of that. But I just wanted to, to say a little bit my experience about how, you know, they're, it's, it's wild. Anyway, so I think that, to make a long story short, that that is us and we do have many simultaneous lives going on at the same time or stories if you want to say and yet we're partaking in each story um, singly as well so it feels like these other people are different than us and yet they're not really there are there are characters that we write in a novel in our story there, but real. I mean, we're since that's us, we're we're also individualized in each character. So that makes each of them independently us a, a, a live real. When we go on to the other side, we're still, you know, individualized. At some point, I think that will not be so. We'll all go up into that infinite one. But for now, we're individualized, and yet it's nice to know we're being looked after by our higher self. And so I think that's how you get all these simultaneous, also um, actual realities you can jump into of your actual self the character you are and yet you have all these different others like in reincarnation like I was you know some famous so and so you know um, so I think that's how it works it's it's like and it didn't feel like being I, like I was a puppet because I was also that that part of my I am God presence so I didn't feel like I was a puppet it was all me. It's all us. Anyway, just a nice little uh, late morning chat. Love you all and see you in the next one. Over and out.